This demonstration shows a multi-omic workflow using the Cohorts module within Illumina Connected Analytics. Cohorts is a study design tool for rapidly building and exploring cohorts. Cohorts provides an environment in which users can upload subjects, browse, and filter cohorts based on omic scale molecular results and clinical attributes to gain novel research insights. We begin by creating a new project in Connected Analytics Core. Enter a logical project name, like breast and ovarian cancer, then select Save. Select the newly created project. Navigate to Cohorts from the Navigation pane. Select Create Cohort. Private data can be imported, but for this demonstration, we will use the curated public datasets, specifically the Cancer Genome Atlas datasets, BRCA Breast Invasive Carcinoma, note the number of participants, and the OV Ovarian Serous Cytodenocarcinoma studies for a total of 1,472 selected subjects. The Subject and Molecular tabs allow for the creation of cohorts using subject attributes like demographics, biometrics, and vital status, as well as cohorts by presence of omic data measurements. Name the cohort TCGA Breast and Ovarian Cancer. Select Apply. The cohort is created with a customizable charts display. Select Edit to customize the clinical attributes of choice. Let's set the attributes to TNM staging, which is a system used to classify cancer and help determine best treatments. T-Stage Pathologic describes the size and extent of the primary tumor. N-stage pathologic describes whether the cancer is spread to nearby lymph nodes. M-stage pathologic tells whether the cancer is spread, metastasized, to distant parts of the body. Select Save to update the chart's attributes. This cohort has a diversity of attributes and frequencies. Use cohorts to find biomarkers that are distinctive for different stages. Select Hide Charts to view the Subjects tab. Displayed is the subject ID and other high-level information, like data types measured and reported. Select a subject ID to view the data collected at the subject level. The subject is a 78-year-old female with vital status and other clinical attributes that feed up into the subject attribute selection criteria when creating or editing cohorts. Close the subject's details. Select the Marker Frequency tab, then select the Somatic Mutation tab. A ranked list of genes by highest mutation frequency is displayed. Note that the pic 3 ca has a high rate of mutation in the cohort, ranked second with 33% mutation frequency in 326 of the 987 subjects that have somatic mutation data in this cohort. Let's explore if subjects with the PIK3CA mutations have changes in PIK3CA RNA expression. Select the Gene Expression tab. PIK3CA RNA is downregulated in 27% of the subjects relative to normal samples. Select the PIK3CA gene. The Gene tab with the Gene Summary subtab is active, listing information and links to public resources about PIK3CA. Select the Variants tab to view an interactive legend and set of analysis tracks. The Needle Plot allows toggling the plot by genome, AD, allele frequency, and sample count. Select Sample Count. 
There are 87 mutations distributed across 1,068 amino acid PIK3CA sequence. We know that missense variants can severely disrupt translated protein activity. Deselect all variant types except for missense from the show variant type legend. As seen by the colored boxes and labels on the x-axis of the needle plot, many missense mutations are observed in the functional domains of the protein where biological activities have a high likelihood of detrimental impact. Primate AI Track displays scores for potential missense variants. It leverages the dataset of human variants and over 300,000 common missense variants from six non-human primate species. Points above the dashed line for the 75th percentile may be considered likely pathogenic as cross-species sequence is highly conserved you often see high conservancy at the functional domains. Points below the 25th percentile may be considered likely benign. The pathogenic variance track displays markers from ClinVar, color-coded by variant type. Use the exon zoom bar from each end of the amino acid sequence to zoom in to the PI3KA domain to better separate the observations. In the needle plot, hover over the variant with the highest sample count in the yellow PI3KA protein domain. The variant details for the 64 subjects observed with the GLU555 lay amino acid change resulting from a G to an A nucleotide change at the coding position 1633-63 in the breast cancer study and one in the ovarian cancer study. There are three different missense mutations at the 545 codone changing the wild type glutamine at different frequencies to lysine 64, glycine 6, or alanine 2. The pathogenic variant track shows seven ClenVar entries, three mutations stacked at this locus, affecting amino acid 545. Hover to view pathogenicity calls, phenotypes, submitter, and a link to the ClenVar entry. Select the Expression tab. And notice that the normal breast and normal ovary tissues have a relatively high PIK3CA RNA expression in GTX RNA-seq normal tissue data, but is ubiquitously expressed. We may conclude that in support of what is known in the literature, the PIK3CA gene is a good therapeutic biomarker for certain cancers. Multiomic investigations using ICA cohorts have the potential to further characterize specific biomarker profiles associated to disease severity and drug response. This concludes our Illumina Connected Analytics Cohorts demonstration for a multi-omic workflow. Utilize cohorts to enable better decision-making on your study design.